Hello and welcome to Let's Play Toho Komakyo Embodiment of Scarlet Devil. I'm Robin, a French guy who has a weird accent when speaking in English, and I'm going to play this game and hopefully beat it in lunatic difficulty setting without continuing ever. Uh, for those who don't know, a small explanation about the Toho games, shooting their shooting games, of the Dan Maku or Bullet Hell subgenre. Basically means they're very hard and have loads of bullets all over the screen. Uh, they're all made by one single crazy person, a Japanese guy called Zoom. And it takes place in the universe of Gensokyo, which for some odd reason is almost only inhabited by girls who look like they're ten year old. Blame that on Zoom's inability to draw anything else. Uh, I'm giving myself five extra li five li lives at the start instead of the usual three because uh, I'm playing live and I know I'm going to mess up stupidly at some point. <coughs> uh, quick introduction: the game has two characters, Rimu, Shrine Maiden, and Marissa. Uh, magician or witch. Uh, each of them has two different shop types. So Rimu has either a homing shop or fo forward focus shop. The first one being of course much weaker. And Marissa has very forward focus shop or piercing lasers which are a bit weaker. Uh, I like using Marissa A, that is forward focus, uh, because it's just that strong. Um, before we start, quick word about the plot. Uh, I think it goes something like, One day, a strange red mist appears and covers the whole world of Gensokyo. It annoys everyone, and so, whichever heroine you decide, her heroine you decide to take goes and tries to see what the origin is and stop the mist from being there. there. Yeah, no one cares. Let's just go ahead and go! Stage 1. Stage 1 isn't usually very hard and it's more focused on gathering power than the other stages. Which means you have to move around a lot more to get those small P things and, make, and it makes the stage harder than it actually is. So I just was extremely lucky there did quite well. Uh, Mid-boss time. She's also the boss of this stage, so I won't explain anything about her yet. Uh, very easy mid-boss. Thankfully, because it's the first one, and you don't want to have to constantly restart even more than what you already have to do. And yeah. Not really dangerous at all. Be sure to get the big power items in this section. Uh, mid boss drops one, and usually at least one fairy, random fairy, drops one too. And yeah. And now we're almost at the end. It's about two, quite easy. I have 55 power, which is good for me. Uh, you can read the dialogue if you care, I don't. Uh, a few things about boss battles. They're basically divided here, let's pause for a second. Divided in two types of attacks. You've got the boss is normal attacks, and the boss is spell card, attack, spell card attacks. Spell cards are something unique to Toho, that basically they're named and themed around the boss. And I think it, it's really something special which gives the whole series some personality. Uh, you bosses usually have about half of each. Spell cards being of course harder than normal attacks. And um, here's the boss, Lumia. Uh, she's the Yorkai of Darkness. Uh, nothing much to say about her. For some reason she likes standing and stretching her arms like she's crucified. Yeah, no one cares. 
for a darkness theme person, she has weirdly coloured shots with lots of green and blue and yellow and red. I might already have that. Yeah. The bombing here is shameful, but yeah, I'm playing live and I have more life, so no one cares. For those who don't know, since I haven't explained it, the bomb is basically this game's form of panic button. Uh, I have a bomb counter which is on the right of the screen and every time you press the bomb button it basically clears the screen of bullets and makes you invisible for a short time. And we're already almost at the end. Demarcation is basically her only hard attack. And um, yeah. Ah! There. Ah. There. Stage one done. On to stage two. Stage two starts with a very annoying spam section. And I really, really recommend to just bomb it like this. The main reason being that if you don't, you won't be able to move around at all and will just miss most of the power items, which you still want to hunt for actively. Dai yo se, which is basically a Jap Jap the Japanese word for great fairy or big fairy. So yeah, nameless boss in some sense. And she's already dead. Well, not dead. Don't kill people in the whole Fights are all non-violent somehow. This is an extremely fun section where you just destroy everything and really grab the item. So right, I'm almost at max power now, and I, I now am. When you're at max power, something very nice happens, that if you go at the top of the screen, all the items will fly straight to you. Which means you don't have to move around the screen like a madman to actually collect stuff. Of course, the top of the screen is a more dangerous place than the bottom, but it's usually worse. Boss time! It's Cherno the Ice Fairy, also known as Nine Balls, so you know what I'm talking about. Uh, her theme song is famous and extremely catchy, and she's a rather easy second boss, but still, I, she's back. First attack is maybe her hardest when you don't know how to do it. But yeah, she's an idiot. That misdirect the first shot and then tiny dodge the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Phew. Hail sign, hail score. Weird crisscrossing patterns, but they're slow enough so that you can just read and dodge. Still, still. Requires concentration and attention. Yes! My second non-spell attack. It's aimed at you, but she moves around a whole lot. And makes it extremely annoying. Come on, come on, come on, perfect three. Yes. This is the only attack which uses shots which are not just blue and white, and they still turn white afterwards. I really, really like the concept of this attack. And yeah, fun. Be careful. And final attack, Diamond Lizard. 
sort of like hailstorm, but less crisscrossy and faster. And she moves around more, I think. There you go, perfect Jennifer. She's an idiot. Uh, well, that's going to be it for this first video. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you next time for stages 3 and 4. F9.